Hey everyone, you've got Coach Jared here uh, with Myriad Health and Fitness, bringing you another edition of 73 Questions. Uh, just a reminder, this is a rapid fire Q&A where you, the audience, get to learn a little bit more about our coaches and teachers here at Myriad Health and Fitness. And today we have Karen Hewitt with us. And Karen, go ahead, introduce yourself, and then we're going to jump right into it. Sure. So uh, I'm Karen. Uh, I teach yoga here um, a couple classes a week. Um, and then I also do massage um, a little bit. And then I also um, am studying functional and nutrition health coaching. So very yeah. cool. Awesome. So we're going to jump right into it. Question number one, what's your favorite time of day? The morning, early morning. Super early or just kind of early? Um, I do like when I can get up by like 530 in the morning. I like when it's super quiet. Yep. What's your biggest weakness? Um setting boundaries and saying no. <laughs> I, we hear that a lot from our staff. So it's something we have to work on. What's your number three? What's your biggest strength? Um, I think it's judgment and kind of taking probably too long to make decisions, but like observing everything. Yeah. What's the biggest learning experience you've ever had? Learning to run my own restaurant. Oh yeah. So that was... <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one, huh? Yes. Number five, what's your idea of a perfect date? Uh, brunch, anywhere, and a nap afterwards. I like that. What's one vice you wish you could give up? Coffee. I would <laughs> sleep so much better at night if I could just eliminate coffee. Yes. yes. <laughs> what's, what's a cause that is important to you? Um, feeding people. Um, I volunteer at the Padishu Foundation and I love that it helps to feed school-aged children and there's lots of education and yeah. yeah. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Um, I thought it was a good compliment. People would compliment me on my, when I had the restaurant, like how my staff um, did a great job and you know, all of the things that we did. And I feel like that made, I was a good mentor teacher. Yeah. Number nine, when are you the most inspired? Um, I love hearing people's stories. I love documentaries or talking to anyone and everyone and finding out where they're from and how they got here. Yeah. Sweet or savory? Um, I like savory anymore. What so song can you listen to on repeat? Um, the, last, <laughs> the last one that I have, it's like a, I think it's called My Salty Giant or Genty. I don't know. And then I like their whole album. Okay. Yeah. What makes you smile the most? Dogs. <laughs> Me too. What's one thing people don't know about you? Um, I was saying, I mean, either uh, that I ran an award-winning restaurant for four years. Um, I think I kind of don't tell people that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. So that's definitely yeah. something we'll have to dive into uh, at another time, which is, which is the whole point of this. This is awesome. So yeah. question 14, heels or flats or sneakers or barefoot? Barefoot. Vintage or new? Vintage. What are the three things you can't live without? Um, my lip balm, uh, water, um, I don't know. And I started carrying like my eyeglass, like a little cloth to clean my glasses. Cause that's so annoying when you can't see. Yep. Window or aisle seat. I like the aisle seat because <laughs> I don't like being trapped. <laughs> What's your current TV character obsession? Um, I really liked the Ted Lasso, uh, series. Yes. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I knew that one. Yes. What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? Um, I mean, I feel like probably just up until recently, like I went, I got to go to Europe for three weeks in October. Um, that was pretty adventurous. I'd never been to another country like that. Oh, wow. What countries did you go to? We flew into um, Amsterdam and we got to stay there and it was like a riverboat cruise kind of thing. So we went like through Germany, um, Vienna, Budapest. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. How would you define yourself in three words? Um, meticulous. <laughs> Good one. Um, <laughs> thoughtful and um, people oriented. What's your current favorite piece of clothing that you own? 
Um, say my prana yoga pants, partly because I mean I wear them so much between coaching and working out, and they're super comfortable. What's a must-have clothing item everyone should own? Corduroys in every color. <laughs> what's what's inspiring you in life right now? Um, I I don't. I was trying to think. I just think I'm kind of inspired. Like my life has been all sorts of chaotic and randomness, but it's like all coming into play right now and working out in my favor <laughs> to nice. have so many different experiences. Absolutely. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Um, I, I kind of liked, so whenever um, I was setting up the restaurant and doing all of that, like somebody had told me, you know, it's always good in like planning, but always to think of the end game of things. And I kind of like, you know, that was like 15 years ago. And I feel like I've taken that to heart of trying to think of that in my life always of situations. Yeah. What's your pet peeve? Um, how much people only communicate online. I like talking to people in person and I can't wait for that to all come back. Yes. Uh, 27 diamonds or pearls or neither. Neither. What's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? Um, just like their demeanor. I'm always intrigued by what people choose to say, but also what they choose to not say and kind of just noticing who they are, I guess. Oh yeah. What's your biggest regret? I don't really have a regret because <laughs> I'll like, like I said, my life has been totally random, but I kind of like lived life to the fullest of what I wanted to do. Yep. I love so. that. What's heavily played on your music playlist right now? Um, kind of more of, of like a, a genre. I mean, um, cause I like for between massage and yoga, it's like a lot of psychedelic rock and folk music. I like that kind of laid back. Yep. What's your favorite board game? I don't really play board games. So I, was trying, I mean, like the only thing that it would be a board game, like sometimes for Christmas, we play bingo because my brother-in-law used to run the VFW. <laughs> it has the old bingo set from that. Yes. Nice. What's your guilty pleasure? Um chocolate <laughs> and is everyone's yes. 33 what book did you most recently finish well that's the problem I have like five books started and I randomly finish them but they're also all like you know about yoga philosophy and all sorts of things like that but they're just good reference books yeah so what are you currently reading <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, like about yoga sequencing, um, with the Bhagavad Gita. Um, then I have some health coaching books on functional medicine and things like that. Very nice. Question 35. How do you start your day? Um, coffee and yeah, letting my dog out. He usually wakes me up forcefully. Um, <laughs> And then I do try to watch like 20, 30 minutes of news. And then I just shut out the rest of the world for the day. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, I don't really have one from the service industry. I don't like any of them. So <laughs> I think Memorial Day, if anyone, because it's just the start of um, summer. Yeah. If you could raid one person's closet, who would it be? Um. I mean, I raid people's closets by going to Goodwill and all of that. And yes, That's people on the North side have really good closets. <laughs> <laughs> I never really thought about that for that question, but I like that a lot. <laughs> if you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Martha Hoover. She is doing like all sorts of amazing things and stuff that I always wish that I would have had the wherewithal and all the things to do with my restaurant with yeah, feeding people, taking care of her staff the way she does, all the things. That's awesome. She's a, an amazing figure here in Indianapolis. What's one thing you've always wanted to try, but you've been too scared to do? Um, public speaking <laughs> and being the, just being able to like, you know, network and to talk to people and, and give more communication, but I'm too scared to stand in front of that many people most of the time. All right. We've got, we've got something to push you to. I like that. New, a new goal, a new challenge. Yeah. Question 40. What's the one thing you wish you knew at age 19? 
Um, I think I was always scared to try to make a choice, but knowing now that all of my choices led me to the good thing that I'm, I'm doing now, I guess, just knowing there's no bad choice. Yeah. Besides your phone or wallet, what's a couple must have purse bag items? My lip balm and something to drink. <laughs> if you were not a group fitness instructor or yogi, what would you be doing or what is your dream job? Um, I mean, a dream job. I love that. Like the Padishu foundation. I've always said for years that, I mean, I just love feeding people. And if I could just like open a huge soup kitchen or some sort of thing and educating people about good food. Nice. What's something you can't do? Um, not pet your dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one. probably going to say hi to your dog before you. So that's awesome. Where was the best vacation you've ever taken? Um, camping in Moab and hiking Canyonlands. That sounds awesome. Yeah. What's one city you've always dreamt of traveling to? Um, I've really more dreamed of all the national parks, especially all the ones out West. Just, it's so beautiful. So what's something you always travel with? Um, I don't know. I don't really travel much. Um, I guess my best friend, Julie, cause she plans everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. What, what do you always travel with this friend? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Uh, 47 favorite food. Um, I don't know. Weirdly, whenever I'm hungry, I pull out cashews and pickles. Like together. Like yeah. I mean, like I love charcuterie. I don't eat ah. anymore, but I love like charcuterie plates. So anything that gets back and forth of that. Okay. Interesting. Uh, favorite dessert. Um, like a flan, like I love caramel and then that creamy dairy, right. That I don't eat anymore, but yes. Favorite snack. Pickles and cashews. <laughs> <laughs> Question 50. What's a movie that made you cry? Uh, Steel Magnolias was still my like go-to if I just want a good cry kind of movie. What's your favorite movie of the last five years? Um, I don't, I mean, it would just be whatever, maybe on something on Netflix, but honestly, I watch like mostly stand-up comedy is my turn off my brain kind of watching thing. Yeah. What's the one talent you wish you had? Um, gymnastics. I wish I could do all those tumbling things or just anything. Gymnastics. Sounds like an adult gymnastics class is coming your way. Oh, I'm not strong enough yet, but yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. What's your favorite exercise? Uh, rowing. What's your favorite band? Band? Um, I mean, lately I can listen to probably like Leon Bridges or the Black Pumas all day. What's your favorite fast food order? Uh, there's a little Mexican place called like Don Juan's Taquerias, just south of me, and their tacos are pretty fast. So nice. What's something you don't want to be doing in 10 years? Um, working, then I don't want to. Yeah. What's the cutest thing on planet Earth? Baby anything. <laughs> <laughs> baby elephants, little baby dogs. Yes. What's the best thing that happened this year? Getting my new job. Nice. What's your favorite cocktail? Um, anything with bourbon. Which movie makes you laugh the hardest? I was trying to think. I mean, uh, again, I don't watch a ton of like movie movies, but Elf weirdly I've like helped me get through a really rough time like no matter how many times I watched it I still would laugh hysterically so <laughs> that is a classic yeah. 61 what do you usually eat for dinner nothing exciting a bunch of vegetables <laughs> and like maybe some lentils or um, beans or something in there what do you usually eat for lunch uh same thing or I cheat and just have a protein shake so I don't have to cook. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you usually eat for breakfast? Um, I do love oatmeal for breakfast, especially in the winter with all sorts of fruits and nuts and things. That sounds delicious. Question 64. What's your favorite thing in the world? My 
favorite thing in the world? I don't know, my puppy. <laughs> That's the most most common answer is the yeah. pet, the dog. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite color? Uh, green. What color clothing do you wear the most? Um, it always tends to be blue. What are three words to describe living in Indy? Um, I think there's a lot of diversity um, and a lot of opportunity because so many new things, you know, we're still such a growing city. Um, I don't know, and kind of comfort. I think it's comfortable yep. living here. Do you like surprises? Yes, good surprises. <laughs> <laughs> there's that caveat right good yes. surprises what's one thing you had to learn the hard way um setting boundaries what's something you're tired of um yeah people like lack of communication you know sometimes it's just i think people don't know themselves well enough to like communicate and use their big people words but <laughs> big people words I, I, I might steal that one from you who do you turn to when you're sad? Um, my best friends. Yeah. What's a trend you would like to see disappear forever? Um, I don't know any fashion trends or any sort of thing like that, but I probably just go back to the same, like, um, you know, communicating in person, like in real life again. Yeah. Last question, 73. What did you want to do with your life at age 12? I wanted to join the circus and be shot out of a cannon. That is, <laughs> that is the first and yes. the best answer we've had thus far. So that is awesome. I saw it once when I was little and I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> I was like, can I do that? What's great about it is we can still find a circus and shoot you out of a cannon. So we can yes, still make it. My dream is not dead. There's yeah, still we can still make that happen. <laughs> well, Karen, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know personally, I learned a ton and uh, looking forward to talking a little bit more about the days of uh, running a restaurant and everything that entails with that. Cause that's always, my brain always enjoys those sort of things with the processes that have to go and play with that. So thank you very much. Uh, and I hope everyone watching gets to learn a little bit and then ask you more questions when they see you in person and teaching classes. So thank you. Thank you.